Hi everyone, it's Martinez Art Lab here. Um, today we are going to do a color block landscape and to get started, we are going to head to our Google Drive and click on new and go to more and Google Drawings. So once I've clicked on that, now I am in my drawing, the very first thing I'm going to do with my new file is double click on untitled drawing. I'm going to type in the name of the project and then remember to my students I'm going to click underscore and then I'm going to type my full name my first and my last name so this is how we don't lose our hard work and the projects that we've got we've got our um, proper title here and now that I've got my title I'll show you how to get started on your color black landscape the focus of our project today is going to be going to be to show the differences in objects in the foreground, middle ground, and background. Um, the foreground, remember, our objects are the closest things to us, so they're going to be larger and darker, and the further things get away, they're going to get smaller and lighter. Um, our landscape today is going to be just exactly how it sounds, large blocks of color. Because um, we're just getting started in Google Drawings, we want to make sure that we um, are just getting used to these tools. Um, anytime a new program, anytime we're working with a new program, it can be frustrating. So um, we're going to just work on some basics here and um, have some fun. So first thing we'll do is I'll go through the tools real quick. The select tool, this black arrow, is one of the most important tools. That's what's going to select whatever it is we're working on. Um, this undo tool will become your friend soon. Um, if you make a mistake, you can click this undo tool and it will redo or take away whatever you've just done. Um, redo is exactly how it sounds. Um, the magnifying glass lets you zoom in or zoom out on your project and the line tools um, we'll be working with those today as well so this drop down arrow shows you your different options we are going to be working with the polyline tool the polyline tool will let you make um, straight lines and straight edge shapes um, everything we're doing today we're going to be making shapes um, so I'll get started on this. Every click I make, I've just made a click, and it'll start my line. Um, every click I make will make a turn. So second click, third click, fourth click, fifth click, six, seven. Now I want to close out my shape. So I'm going to make my straight edges for my sides, eight, nine. So there's my first shape. The very first thing I'm going to do is go to this border color, so the pencil um, the pencil icon. I'll click on that and click transparent. Took away that black outline. I don't want that black outline on my shapes here. Um, because this is the first layer for my color block landscape, I'm going to click on the color um, Choose your color scheme here. I'm going to make my color scheme blue. So I'm going to pick the darkest blue I can. And I've just changed my first color. Now I'll go ahead and add my second shape. Again, using that same tool. So I click on that polyline tool. All right, and now adding the second layer of the landscape, we're gonna use the polyline tool. There's one or two ways you could do this. Um, we're going to do this the easiest way. So I'm going to make a click, 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 click. And then I'm going to just make the whole shape here. So I'll go down to the bottom. Click, click to close it out. When you close out your shape, make sure your first click and your last click end together. Um, to enclose that shape. So now I've got my shape. I'm going to go to my border color, click it, and click transparent, which gives me a clear outline. And then I'm also going to go to the fill color, which is this paint bucket. Um, I already had a dark blue, so I'm going to pick a lighter blue. And then I'm going to go to arrange and order. And 
I'm going to go to send to back. So there's a difference between send backward and send to back. So I'm going to send to back and I've just put my um, layer to the background. So I've got my first and second layer. I'm going to create four layers. So I'll go back to my polyline tool and I'm going to do another layer here. Click. Remember, every click I make is going to change my direction. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down to the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect because I know this is going in the background. My first click and my last click and the same. <clears throat> I will go to this, um, my border tool, make sure it's transparent. I'll click on my fill color and pick a lighter blue. And then I'll go to arrange and order and send to back. So now I've got three layers. I'm going to make the background color uh, my lightest color, and that's going to be my sky color. So I'm going to do that one a little differently and click my polyline tool. And I'm going to go click, and I'm just going to make a straight click, click. And as long as it covers, again, it doesn't need to be perfect. I know it's going in the background, and I'm going to let it cover that background. I know that I know it's transparent border already, but if I needed to, I could click transparent. Now I'm going to make that my very lightest color. Um, I'm going to do something a little different, so I'll click my light color. It's a little bit lighter than my third color, but I want it a lot lighter. So I've got my color selected, and I'm going to click on custom. What that does is give me this option to create a custom color. So this is my color right here. It's right here. I'm actually going to move my circle just by clicking and make it a much lighter blue. It'll be this blue. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I've got a much lighter blue in that background. My last step is going to be to arrange, order, and send to back. So this is the landscape that I've just created. I'll click my select tool and just kind of click to the side so you can see it. When I go to save this tool, I can go to, or when I go to save my project, I can go to file and download, and then I can download this as a JPEG image. So that's what I'm going to do just to show you. And it pulled open my JPEG image. So now I've got it saved. And um, this is one way that I can transport or print or do whatever I need to with my file. Um, for these color black landscapes, this is the very simplest I can get. Um, I could also get a lot more detailed and have um, details. Maybe I've got, you know... I've got grass and a lake and, uh, you know, trees and all kinds of things. So this is a basic color black landscape. Um, you can get a lot more detailed and have a lot more fun with this if you choose. Have fun making your color black landscape.